hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel today is an exciting day today i am going to be getting a brand new macbook pro so i just thought that i would bring you guys along and kind of do a little unboxing for you guys i am super excited this was like a spur of the moment decision kind of not really but like i did not know i would be getting it today until like 30 minutes ago so i just got out of the shower i am going to do my makeup real quick and then we're gonna head out to best buy and go get it <laughs> so this laptop isn't exactly like a need it's definitely more of a want um and i'm aware of that my current laptop is a 2015 macbook pro always been a macbook pro person um i think macbook there's nothing wrong with macbook airs it just doesn't fit in with like my lifestyle and what i need it for um first got my macbook pro nobody cares i'm gonna tell the story anyway first got my macbook pro in college because i was a graphic design minor so that's why i didn't go with the air and currently um i'm filming youtube videos i have a small business so i just want to stick with the pro and not go to an air you know what I mean? I think if you're more like a like casual browser, then like, yeah, go for an air, you know? So anyway, I've been saying that I need a new MacBook for a while. Um, I have been having some issues with my current laptop. Very minor. But I, for a couple years now, have been dealing with a constant, like, loss of memory i'm gonna say with my laptop like i have a hundred and whatever gigs so the lowest one i'm aware but literally ever since i graduated school i don't put anything on my laptop like literally my only documents are like my resume and cover letter and then it's like some pictures and then i like edit a video and i immediately delete it so I don't take up room in my laptop, you know what I mean? But for a couple of years now, I have been dealing <laughs> with my laptop running out of storage, which has never been an issue with an issue for me um, before getting a Mac. So I don't know. Um, I don't even know how much my old laptop had before my Mac, but it does matter. Um, I'll literally go like a couple months being fine, and then all of a sudden it's like you have like three gigs <laughs> of um why did i say memory i meant storage it'll be like you have three gigs of storage left and i'm just like what what's the issue here because i don't have anything on my laptop you know and i went through so many things um asked so many people to look at my laptop for me and try to figure out what the issue was lots of great suggestions but it keeps being an issue right now and so i currently only have like 20 gigs and that's the most i've had in a very long time and i'm just kind of sick of it because i know that in a couple months it's going to give me the issue again and say that i don't have any room and i just don't even know what else i can delete off my laptop you know like i i don't know anyway that's what kind of sparked me <laughs> i look crazy that's what kind of sparked me wanting to get a new laptop because this last time that it happened I spent, I kid you not, like five hours trying to like back up my laptop and figure out what was wrong with it. Um, and I was just at the point of frustration that I wanted to throw it out the window and just get a new one. <laughs> so anyway, besides that, I mean, it's a 2015. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's occasionally running like a little bit slow. Um, it's been kind of crashing randomly and I don't, I don't really know what the issue for that is, but it'll like randomly close an app that I'm on. And I mean, that could just be nothing, but it's just annoying. And um, it also literally sounds like it's about to take off every time I upload a video, which I mean, it's not like a surprise they do that, you know, but it's just kind of annoying. And I'm just like, I just, I don't know. It's, it's not a want, it's a need, you know? I mean, it's not a need, it's a want. <laughs> I was talking with my mom about it not too long ago and she really wants to get into a uh, MacBook. She has a PC right now, but she's kind of like, on the market for a mac and she was like well if nothing's wrong with yours you know she just kind of wants to use it for like browsing and like maybe stuff for her business she was like i would love to have your laptop and so i was like okay i'll let you know and so anyway the project right now is that i'm going to get a new laptop and we are going to update the uh storage and the battery and give that to her that's the plan 
and when I told her I haven't even bought the lap or I hadn't bought the laptop I just told her like would you still want it she was like oh my god thank you so much and I was like I didn't even buy it yet so that's kind of where we're at right now you know this morning I went back and forth with my boyfriend about if I should get it or not um we watched videos about it and stuff and you know he was kind of like you should get it because I want you to have a new laptop and also I want to uh a grade your old one he was like but then again like you know do you really need it and I was like well no but I mean I don't know I was like I made the comparison like he wants the ps5 I was like we have a ps4 you don't need the ps5 and then he was like I get it now he made a good point that like we're both furloughed right now and just stuck at home and so it's like we just need something that like excites us and you know what I mean? I was like, a new laptop would really excite me and like keep me busy for a few days. And I was like, here's how I looked at it. New laptop equals new content, better content for this channel, <laughs> which means potential money in the future, which leads to me getting a Tesla. That's the conclusion that I've come to. Because realistically, if I could get a Tesla right now, I would pick the Tesla. And believe me, I've done my research and I really want it. But this is a smarter option. Like, I'm not going to go into debt by getting a laptop, you know. And I don't think I'll go into debt by getting a Tesla either. But like I said, we're furloughed and I just feel like it's not financially the smartest decision. So, anyway, that's how my brain works. So anyway, I just figured treat yourself, you know, I'm a big treat yourself type of person. I think you should always treat yourself. My answer will always be yes to that. But I didn't even freaking put on concealer. I'm a dork. Anyway, treat yourself always, you know, and within reason, you know, I don't think you should constantly be spending like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But, you know, I'm like, eventually I'm going to need a new laptop anyway. Maybe not right now, but I will eventually. So I think... That I'm just beating the potential of having my laptop crash on me you know it probably won't but whatever that's the conclusion that I've come up with to make myself feel better about this I don't even know why I'm making myself feel bad about it like it's my money I can do what I want with it you know so anyway we're getting the laptop I am waiting for Best Buy to email me to tell me that it's available um, I'm excited we're gonna get it and then I'll bring you guys along and then we will do a little unboxing when I get back and I'm so excited okay y'all we've hit a little bit of a dilemma um, I don't know what's going on but I'm trying to check my order status because we're here actually because we need to pick up some ink so I just wanted to see if my laptop was ready and I'm trying to sign in to my account to view my order status and it's telling me that my email is not registered under Best Buy and I have two different emails it could have been and it is telling me that it's neither of them when I try to sign into my credit card it's telling me that that email does not exist in their system so um don't know what that means because I was definitely signed in on my laptop back at home and now apparently I'm not and like it's not it couldn't even be look it can't even be my password because it's literally telling me we didn't find an account with that email address yeah so there was no account under those email addresses so regardless of what password it is there's no account that exists so I think that we're gonna go in and get the ink that we need and um, try and um, just see if there's even an order under my name slash ask them for help because I don't know what to do now. So it's telling me that I don't even have a freaking credit card and I literally, you sat there and watched me make a credit card with them. Yeah. So. All right, we'll, we'll let you guys know what happens. <laughs> Wish yeah. us luck. Hi guys. <laughs> All is well. Uh, we got the laptop, here she is. Um, to make a long story short, they were able to find my order and we successfully got the laptop. So we're all good. Uh, John's here to help me out. I'm just literally just here. He's here. <laughs> and we're gonna do a little unboxing. A little. I am just putting out a disclaimer right now that I am by no means a tech, a tech, <laughs> a tech guru or anybody qualified to be doing this. 
but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, here she is. <laughs> what should we name her? <laughs> um, yeah, this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro 2020. Let's do it. With the M1 chip. There we go. You're gonna do an overhead shot? Well, of course. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we're doing an overhead shot then. Oh, that wasn't as satisfying as I had hoped. So sorry, this is already not going. All right, it's like Christmas day up in here. John, do you have any facts that you want to tell us? Because I don't know them. Uh, the first MacBook Pro or MacBook in general to run on the new silicone that is uh, Apple now. So effectively this could run iOS and iPad apps, which I believe it will. Um, it is de a, a, it's a big step up, at least spec wise, from the old Intel chips that are in the current generation um, MacBooks. Uh, but as per reviews online, it looks like it's a lot faster and it should hypothetically run a lot of the apps and programs that are on the previous Macs uh, via Rosetta 2. So here we go. Okay, this comes off, I guess. It feels hefty. Oh, why is this lid so heavy? All right, she's. A, this is a thick lid. Do you see? This is like a gift box right here. Here she is. So John really wanted me to go for the space gray, um, but. I am just a fan of the silver, and so I was like, I'm gonna go for the silver. John, when you get your laptop, go for the space gray. Oh, this is, we should compare my other one, huh? I'll compare, I'll compare my 2015 in, in a second. Okay, here she is, and here is the charging cables and stuff. Do I get a sticker? Still come with the stickers, they're silver now. Have they always been, have they been like that for a while? They've been white. Okay, so they're a nice little silver, uh, like sparkle effect charging block charging cable here we go oh this will be satisfying oh also interesting the packaging um this used to be plastic this is paper now huh yes so they're caring about the environment good for them Let me so turn this up real quick. there you go okay let's go on and open this up Oh, so it's not as satisfying as it used to be with the plastic yeah, because uh, that happened. There was literally no way for me to open that nicely. To be fair, their their be their packaging now apparently is more uh, eco friendly. Eco friendly, yeah. So and everything so, is. So uh, sorry. Recyclable? Is it yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that's weird, dude. This is a very heavy duty box. I'm gonna keep it. Well, yeah. Anyway, here's the charging block. This looks about the same, would you say, right? Yeah. This looks about the same as my my current one, so I guess mm -hmm. not much has changed there. Except for the fact that this is all USB-C. Got it. Okay, here's the cable. Yeah, that's something I also didn't know. Once again, guys, I'm, like I said, not a big tech person. Um, I let her make the decisions <laughs> on this one. I don't, I don't <laughs> look super into all the techy stuff. Um, bought this and did not know that it is all USB-C ports, but John was one step ahead of me And so he figured that all out for me. So thank you John is the wire Which is going to be so nice to not have a wire that was bitten up by my cat Because the other one has electrical. Why are you so close? Sorry, to my face? I'm, I'm trying not to get myself in the shot. Hi uh, The other one has electrical tape all over it because my cat bit it and it works still, but it's gonna be nice to have a brand new one that does not have that anymore. Who's to say I'm not gonna bite into it, but Gross. We'll, we'll find out. I'm also just realizing now, so this one doesn't come with the extender then. It does not. I believe that one's pretty long though. That's kind of a bummer. I'm a big fan of the extender. Like, I mean, you can look over there. Well, no, it's a mess over there. I'm a big fan. I have always had the extender in all the time. I never went with just this and this because I like having a lot of room. Um, so this, eh. it's, it's, a it's probably, it's decent. I don't feel like unraveling it right now. Here she is. This one has um, some plastic on it. So I'm going to take it off. All right, there she is. 
definitely actually oh whoa i'm noticing different things okay should i go get my other laptop to compare sure Alrighty, so here is my 2015 MacBook. Here is the 2020 version. Uh, a couple things right off the bat. Uh, bat? Back? Sure. What is it? <laughs> okay, Apple logo, obviously different. This one, I also feel like it's smaller. Don't know if that matters to anybody, but it looks smaller to me, and it also look kind of, it's like a mirror, right? It actually literally is a mirror. This one has like the frosted matte, matte glass type look. Finish. Uh, finish. <laughs> I'm not a tech person. Uh, if you want to get a, it kind of looks like this one's a little bit thinner. It's also a little bit smaller. So this is the 2015. This is the 2020. It's definitely smaller. I can tell in the top screen. And it's a little bit smaller in general than the uh, 2015. Also, I'm, this feels way lighter to me. Um, yeah. I mean, not like a significant thing, not like going from a pro to an air, but this does, I mean, it has weight to it, but it feels lighter to me at least than the other one. This is John's idea to make this like a big time little tech review with the angles and all that. So I'm gonna let him live out his heart stream while I misinform you on everything. <laughs> this is strange because this top is way smaller than what I'm used to. But. So it's just weird. I feel like I can't get a hold on it. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! I wasn't expecting it to do that. Wow, that screen looks really blurry. I know. I'm gonna return it. Just kidding. Uh. Uh, this is wild because I obviously have not had a, a new laptop in five years. So, um, I'm just haven't had an unboxing experience in a while. What does the keyboard look like? I guess I didn't think of that. Also, wow, uh, I have a touch bar. Very, just very not used to that. Um, okay, maybe I should set this up real quick. We'll be right back. I'm gonna set her up. Okay, guys, so we got it all set up. Here it is. Um, oh, okay, it popped up with more stuff now. I'm just very not used to seeing, um, what, what would this, the toolbar, right? Touch bar? Touch bar. <laughs> I don't know things, guys. <laughs> uh, I've never seen, I've honestly never seen a touch bar in person. There you go. Actually, so here we are. What does it do? We've got... I mean, I don't even know what this stuff is because this just popped up right now, but you've got like your brightness, your volume control, Siri is right there. Um, this looks like, what, like bookmarks and stuff for me when you're online, right? I don't know, press it. Well, oh, nothing, it, it's great right now. I mean, what's this? Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to like do some research on this because I don't know what anything does. Uh, you had to put, I had to scan my fingerprint right here. Pretty cool, but I was just telling John, like, if there was ever a case, yes. there was ever um, a time where, like, let's say it was, like, an emergency, I needed him to, like, print something for me, he would not be able to access my laptop unless I gave him, like, a fingerprint scan. So, definitely lots of security, but also, I guess, just make sure you don't ever forget anything and, like, potentially need somebody else to do it. Okay. Trackpad is ginormous compared to my old laptop. Um, it's weird. This looks more smushed, but also spread out, <laughs> if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like, they're nice big keys, but they're definitely further up than... You're so close to my face! <laughs> what do you mean this is close they're to They're further up than what I'm used to. Also, though this laptop in full is smaller than my old one, I feel like the screen's bigger because look at the, the lack of negative space around it. Bezels. Right? What? Yes. Bezels? Mm hmm There you go. That's how big they are on the 2015. So, I kind of almost feel like this, this screen looks bigger, huh? This screen is bigger, I think. No, they're the same size. Are you sure? Mm, yes, they're about 13 inches. No, I but the screen itself. The bezels are smaller, yes, from the edge of the, uh, the, edge of the casing, but the screen size is um, comparable, I think. Okay. It might be a little smaller, actually, on this one. I think mean, okay. by like yeah. centimeters. It just it looks <laughs> it looks around the same size because of that. Uh, also, like I said, the keys are bigger, so that's why they are smushed, but they are bigger. If you look at these, there's a lot more space in between. John knows the correct uh, names, so go on, John. 
But this is a, they put the new Magic Keyboard on here, so basically it just has more travel uh, um, as the previous MacBooks uh, with the little, with the, with the butterfly keys that have less travel. Whatever. But this one sounds like that. This one sounds like. The trackpad, as you can see, there is an obvious, di this trackpad is freaking ginormous. Like, yeah. I don't even know. It's got a Y in its name. Why? I would need a trackpad this so like this big. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, it is. I'm excited. I feel like the chaos of getting this ruined my excitement. But now is the fun part where I have to transfer over all my essential stuff. Also, there's a lot going on down here that I didn't have on my old laptop. It's adaptive. So it'll change as soon as you either open up programs or open up certain windows. Got it. Yeah. So this is where we're at right now. All right, that's it. Uh, yeah, anything else you want to say, John? Any anything I missed? I don't know. They said they said the battery life is supposed to be really good on this thing. So yeah. Let's see how. Let's see if we can we can last four days without without charging it. Yeah, I'll try. Um, other than that, I'm super excited. This is gonna be my new editing best friend, and we're making our way to a Tesla, people. So we'll see if we can get Call of Duty on there. Mm. Just I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, thanks so much for watching <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>